Right, my darlings, the most important day of the year is coming up. No, it is not Christmas. No, it is not election day. It is Sadie Bass's birthday. Let's move tonight. Yeah, it's Pisces season, motherfuckers. You ain't ready for the level of emotion you're gonna feel. If you're not a water sign, get ready to cry. And to be honest, people who are air signs, just let the emotions out. You, It's not good for you to keep it all in, I'm just saying. Yes, I'm looking at you, Geminis and Aquariuses. If you hear this weird squeaking sound, wait. You won't hear it now, because I'm... When I want you to hear it, you won't hear it. Storm Eunice is in full force and trying to ruin my life and my day. So, yeah, if you hear, like, some weird squeaking, I'm in a loft room. So my roof is literally shaking. I thought this house was going to lift off like Wizard of Oz. I thought I was going from Kansas to fucking Munchkin land. Honestly, I did. It was, it was crazy. I could barely sleep. It was shaking all night. But, yeah, this video is going to be... Can you hear that? Can you actually hear that? It's, like, only a frequency that, like, cats can hear. It's really... Oh, it's the worst sound. I basically ordered a stupid amount of outfits for my birthday because you've got to go all out on your birthday. It's not even a big age. I'm going to be 26. It's not not anything dramatic. I just always have to. If there's one day you're going to go big, it's going to be your birthday. And yeah, I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit. Well, I'm a little bit ashamed. I did spend quite a lot of money. So I'm hoping I can send most of these back, but I'm going to need your help. What should I wear? I want like camp vibes, just extra vibes bright colors all that so I, I thought i would order from some maybe independent brands they are expensive i'm not condoning spending this much money on outfits i'm not but we'll see if they're worth it for anyone who is intrigued who might be looking for a special event or a birthday we've got some from poster girl we've got one from miscreants miscreants london oh wait till you see those dresses mistress rocks and jaded so yeah loads to look forward to and let me know in the comments what is your favorite dress i'll be honest i don't know who gave me the audacity or who gave me the money because i don't have the money for this shit i've never bought anything from flannels in my life but they had a sale on these dresses and i've i've seen quite a few influencers wearing them sophia and chintzia everything they wear is just delicious madison beer wore one on tour i'm not gonna lie and i think she wears like it's gonna get in my basket because she's just iconic i actually bought concert tickets to go see her but i have no one to go with so i might go to a concert on my own Again, I, apo I apologise a million times over this wind, but we're just going to have to deal with it today. I got these dresses from Miscreants London. I think she was a St. Martin's fashion student, and now she makes these oh, beautiful... You would have seen them before, beautiful dresses, but they are all over a hundred hundred pounds for a dress you know but look at this i know you might think oh this just looks very simple but it's like this little um bra uh, bandeau dress and it's heart print like that just very quirky but wait the best bit comes with matching gloves the gloves make it but like how do you open your phone with the gloves on that's what i want to know very intrigued but yeah we're gonna get that on and it does actually come with these huge sleeves which i'm not really sure about but i saw the picture and i was like look i'm just gonna get it it'll be fun it was on sale on flannel so usually they're like 240 240 you know 240 oh i need a rich husband okay this is the dress <gasps> Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of love it. It's just very different, like I don't own anything like this. The sleeves just absolutely make it, like it's very like birthday extra. And I feel like I could do it with bright makeup or something, like, or a po like my Ariana ponytail, just make it really extra. Would I need to wear a strapless bra with it? Maybe. I feel like it's a bit ill-fitting. I got a 12 and I feel like I the 10 maybe I could have done with, but then I think the 10 would have been too short. Like it's pretty short. But it is damn cute. I love the heart print. Even with this hair, it kind of goes. Should we try it with those puffy sleeves? I don't want to be sexy. Like, I want to be fun and cool. I'm kind of over the sexy. Like, there's a time and a place. See, I'm not sure about that. It's looking like a bit of a squashed cross on. I feel like, don't they wear these back in, like, medieval times? Like, the kings or the jester would wear these. At least they're not attached because when I ordered it, I thought they'd be attached and I was like, mm. I feel like this makes it a bit too extra. Like I've seen, I saw Sydney Sweeney actually, she wore one of these on the red carpet. She wore a pink one with the black poof things and it did look really cute. But I'm like just for a birthday in like a bar in London, I'm not sure if this would be a bit too much, do you know what I mean? It's cute though, but I, I appreciate that you can detach them because you could always do like a few photos like this and then just take them off and same with the gloves you could just take them off if you feel like they're too extra when you're out i like it a lot and i feel like my fantasy i would imagine it with a bright shoe do you know what i mean with something plain you can go ham on the shoes i feel like pink eyeshadow ponytail i yeah i'm not gonna lie this is effing cute for the price is it worth it probably not but it is obviously she's an independent designer like it is a designer dress so you're gonna pay more i i bet they'll be like 
rental places and if i do keep it i'll probably rent it out after but i mean this is a strong contender for the first thing i've put on what do you think <laughs> i've got it on with shoes now and i do feel like it makes your legs especially with these platforms it makes your legs look like supermodel obviously i'm really short so if anything it gives me height and i do feel like it do it just is really cute i am feeling it a lot it's just impossible to do anything with these gloves like i literally cannot open my phone and like I assume on my birthday I'm not going to be on my phone a lot, but you know me, I like to get cute photos and I feel like it's just going to irritate me not being able to, especially when you're drunk. Um, but yeah, what do we think of the miscreants one? Do you think it's worth the money? And obviously knowing me, I couldn't just get one from them because there was loads in the sale. I had to get this really extra beautiful hot pink version. Love. This one was actually more expensive, weirdly. I think it was 100 and sub 30 maybe, but I'll obviously link everything. But it was in the sale still. Don't know why I'm trying to justify it. But this one actually has a slit, and the slit looks pretty high. I mean, my mum's going to be there, my stepdad. Do I really want to be flashing my vagina? Probably not. But this colour is more, I don't know, just more extra, more screams, more birthday girl, which I feel like everyone needs that pink moment on their birthday. And then it has the matching glove, so very excited to get this on too. Okay, mama Sita. Okay, let's go. This pink. Yes, Eunice. Eunice likes the pink. It's screaming at me. Why is it so bright? Why is it so bright? It's kind of iconic. My only issue is it's a little bit loose. I kind of feel like it looks better on the boobs, the pink one. And I love like these gloves. It's giving me Marilyn Monroe and gentlemen prefer blondes. The French were glad to die for love. You know what I mean? I like that I can see my cheeky little JJ tattoo. I just wish the slit was there. And I wish it was tighter. And yeah, that's basically my issue with it. And I don't know. I don't really know what I'm meant to do in this situation. I could get a smaller size. Would that make the slit any better? Is it appropriate to be around my family in this? Does it even look nice? Is it baggy on the bum? Like, what do we think? What do we think? I do feel like a Barbie girl, material girl. It's given me just my fantasy. It is. It, it, I, I do feel like I'm living life right now wearing this. <sighs> Girlies, what do we think? This is serious. This is why I need your help. This is why I need your help. There's only so many times in your life that you'll be able to wear a dress like this. So that's why I always want to take these opportunities by their beautiful balls. Is it worth 100? Probably not. Probably not. Can everyone appreciate the lengths I'm going to to open my phone? Watch this. So you click and then you go swipe. Swipe for your leg. And it opened. Maybe I can wear it. Oh my god. I'm so innovative. It's crazy. In my head already, I'm considering wearing the, the white one, but we'll see the rest of the dresses I got because it'll just be a fun time, right? Next up, I got some bits from House of CB. Well, Mistress Rocks at House of CB because I'm obsessed with them recently. Like, their stuff is just incredible. I got some stuff when I went to Manchester and it fits like a glove. And it is expensive, but not to the extent of, like, the miscreant dress or even House of CB stuff. Like, a dress will be 60 rather than 100. So I was like, it's still affordable. And I'm actually going to Manchester again in March. So I thought anything I don't wear on my birthday, I could maybe wear to Manchester. House of CB would be my dream collab. Like, I'm really sad I haven't collabed with them yet. Kind of on that, like, trouser kind of euphoria vibe so i got these little gorgeous zebra things they're looking a bit big for me but they've got these straps and i'm like are they going to be that flattering on my lower belly i don't know and then this little matching corset top which i feel like you could also wear with jeans if you don't want to wear it, like the full set right i'm definitely gonna have to keep these things on because this is 100 percent going back I just don't think that's flattering on my body at all. I think it's this thing. This is what it looks like from the back. There's just a lot of straps going on. I feel like on a certain kind of body, it would look really nice and flattering, but I think where the cuts are, it just look, makes the trousers look baggy, but also it's like cut out in the worst part of my body. Like it's giving me no waist. And the top, like the straps are too long, but the bra bit doesn't go under my boob, like ill-fitting. Like I don't, I don't know, I feel like, Surely if it was like that, this pulled up a bit. Is that nicer? I actually just hate this. I want to get it off. I hate it. Oh, I've never felt so unflattered. I think on someone really tall with like an athletic model body, this would look sick. Like maybe, I don't know, someone with smaller hip. Like it, no, I dislike it very much. I'm taking it off and I'm sorry that I wasted everyone's time. It's going straight back, back in my basket. I need my money back, please. I just want to add the materials nice. It is actually made very nice. It just doesn't fit my body. But this is why we do these things. I'm size 12, a lot of you know that already, but it's good for you, I think, to see how it looks on my kind of body. But it just, 
that's the exact part of my body I don't want to accentuate and it's accentuating it and I don't, I don't know why I picked this. I don't know who I thought I was. I've watched way too much Euphoria. We've got this lovely burgundy dress. It's not really a colour I usually wear. I feel like it's a bit like mature for me but it has a built in gloves. You can see I'm trying to live my glove fantasy. It's got cutouts. It's just very sophisticated and sexy. It was about £60. Let's get it on. I'm a bit worried because it's a very tight dress but I'm hoping these like contour bits suck in my belly um i got a size medium as i always do in mistress rocks and yeah i'm excited okay i'll admit this is better this is sexy right this is like oh like bond girl kind of energy i feel like is it too sophisticated compared to the other ones and i don't know i get this top bit like it's attached can you see it was so hard to zip up with these gloves on and you can't take the gloves off so like I still am struggling to get into my phone I like the fin straps in the shoulder area like this is so gorgeous and then it kind of looks like a scarf thing like it is really mm, kind of feeling myself kind of feeling myself a flattering I don't really like that the back goes all the way up like kind of nice for a, for a wintry dress because you're warmish but I wish it had more back. Flattering on here, obviously I still see a little bit of my belly, but it is kind of like, the contour does suck it in. A really nice length for me, I am five foot three, so I'm pretty short. The gloves I feel were a little, um, like baggy, like look, like sal I look like salad fingers. I love the rusty spoons. I used to be so obsessed with salad fingers, so point, me and my brother, anyone that came around our house, we'd sit them in front of the computer, like back when, 2000s when YouTube just came out, and we'd force them to watch sound fingers and funny cat videos and we'd be like, they had the best time at ours. And that was our routine and we used to freak all the little kids out, but that just, it doesn't fill out because you can't pull them up yourself. They're a bit baggy, which is like, if you're gonna wear a glove, it needs to be a glove, you know, it needs to be to your fingers for it to, yeah, be sexy. I like the little bralette thing. I feel like the girl had more under boob. I don't know if my boobs are filling it out enough, really. I feel like my boobs have shrunk, and I feel like they're my only personality trait, so they, why are my boobs shrinking but not the rest of my body? Like, that doesn't seem fair. That doesn't seem fair. Do you know what I mean? I like this. Do I love it? What do we think? It's, I don't know if it's screaming birthday extra, I feel 10 out of 10. It's just like, yeah. I could leave it, you know? I feel like I might just send it back. Cause I, if you don't love something, is there any point? But I don't know, it's, maybe it's this color, like it feels too grown up for me. I just wanna live my pink fantasy. This is too, you know, older woman. Even though I'm getting older, doesn't mean I want to look at, you know what I mean? I feel like maybe on someone blonde or someone with like really tan skin, black skin, olive skin, like would pull this off more? I don't know. Let me know what you think of this, I'm not too sure. One thing I'll tell you for free, listen to this sound all day is a form of torture. This is what they do in like Japanese prisons, I'm sure. Cause I'm actually going insane. I'm not gonna lie, I have been gagging over poster, poster girl. Poster girl. And I just wanted to get involved. So I ordered the Miranda dress cause I was like, look, I just wanna be that bitch that can wear that. But it's like, it is see-through, it's cut out, it's arse, titties. It basically, you're naked. It's kind of shapewear, isn't it? And for shapewear, it's expensive, but it, it was like 80, 90 pound, I think. Um, but I got the purple one. And when you get it, it literally looks like, <laughs> ah, like a little brat store dress. Like, what is this? I'm not gonna lie, I saw Wolfie Cindy wearing this and I was like, mm, mm, okay, you've convinced me. Also, if, what if I don't wear it to my birthday, I can wear it on like a holiday or something. Just be in that extra B. Do you see this? Do you see this? Oh my gosh. I did not think that this was gonna be my favorite. This tiny, thin little piece of material is giving. Oh my god, I get it. I get it. Sign me up. I get the hype. It's giving body oddy oddy. It's just, oh, my boobs look, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm tooting my own horn because my boobs look incredible right now. So it has these little cutouts with these gorgeous, like, little hearts. Oh my god, it's so cute. And I think this bit's meant to be a bit more like this, but it does pull them in, you know, just for a little bit of material. It has this kind of zebra pattern and loads of cutouts. I don't actually know how you would wear underwear. It has like a built in pretend pant thing. Can you see? I don't really know, I like that it, again you can see my tattoo, I don't really know what it's meant to be doing but the whole side is like completely cut out. Damn. Damn, oh you can see my crappy tattoo. But the back is like, god, could you really, like where are you wearing this to? Where are girls wearing this? Because I see people wearing this like actually out and I'm like, I feel very, oh, I mean it does fit me but I feel very exposed. It's a holiday dress. It's like I'd be for Marbella with your gals. Like, I don't know if I'm wearing this in the UK. Maybe with a big blazer, like tights or something. But oh, 
It is dreamy, I do get it. Um, I just realized it's class of shapewear, so they literally said you can't send it back, and so I've now just spent £9 on a piece of material. <laughs> I guess I could sell it or rent it out if I'm not going to wear it, but I'm hoping I do in the summer because it's giving more than I thought it was going to give, and I'm kind of obsessed, I'm feeling myself. I feel like especially this whole hair and this like purpley makeup was just made for it, so I just feel good right now. God, your whole bob is practically out. Damn, I just wasn't meant to live that Instagram life. It's just, oh, it's just not for me, maybe. It's just not for me. But yeah, this color is gorgeous. There was a brown one, which probably would be more appropriate now. Irony of me wearing a piece of material when Stormy is going on, but hot damn, this is sexual. This is actually quite like, yeah, I'm into it. I'm into it. <laughs> what do you think? Are you a fan of Poster Girl? Um, you can rent a lot of them, so definitely save your money and rent if you can. Finally, the last one is this lovely sort of shredded dress from Jaded London. It gives me very much Effie from Skins vibes. Looks way too cool and also a very silly see-through dress again. I don't know what is actually wrong with me. None of these dresses are practical. Like, someone needs to, like, slap me around the face. Why can't I just be like a normal person? Why have I got to be so extra? But yeah, it's like very like Y2K. It's from their new collection. I seen loads of girls on TikTok wearing it and it's completely backless. You'd obviously have to wear stuff underneath, but I'm going to try and make it work. My issue was maybe the color too. Like I tried the other burgundy dress on and wasn't feeling it, but you know, I'm going to show you if, why is this piece of material like 50 pounds? Like, I can't, I can't. Let's just get it on because I'm embarrassed of myself. Right, it is just ridiculous and just crazy, but why do I, why do I kind of love it? Why do I kind of love it? I've got issues. I feel like I'm dressing as if I was famous when I'm not, when I actually have to wear these things out, or I'm dressing to post a photo on Instagram and not realistic stuff. I do appreciate that these panels go over your nipples so you can actually wear no bra with the top. It's giving garbage rat chic, do you know what I mean? But the best part is the back. Holy, that is sexual to me. Like that is so nice and flattering, like a backless and kind of like a low rise skirt. It's got these two straps. I just feel like, yeah, I just feel like a Y2K queen about to hit up the club. But yeah, I would have to wear pants with it and how would you not wear pants that ruin it? Also, is it a bit big? Like would I want it tighter? Like, this is a medium, but maybe I could have got a small. It's just inappropriate though. But I feel like with this, with platform boots, it would look sick with like a smoky eye. I'm kind of into it. I really like Jaded. The price point is high, but I do feel like the quality of all their pieces is beautiful. It's kind of, I'm kind of living for it. I kind of feel 10 out of 10. I don't know why. I think it's just the back. It's like, hey, hey bitches. Oh, again, this would be cute for holiday. Are any of these appropriate for February? Please let me know because I'm, I'm actually stuck. If I'm gonna be, I don't know. I actually don't know what one to wear. I feel like I'm gonna get to the day and just cry and have a breakdown and wear something that I've already wore and be annoyed at myself they didn't prepare better. But let me know what you think's the favorite, if I should keep any, which ones I should send back. Ideally, I should send back quite a lot because my bank account actually took a beating. Like, I don't condone spending this much money, but I think for your birthday, it's okay to branch out, get a nice dress if you can afford it. And you can always reset after. I feel like a lot of these are very cult brands. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've stuck it out this far, I apologize profusely about fucking storm but stay strong hopefully no one's house has got taken away no one trees have fallen on anyone's house and yeah pisces season honeys love you and see you very soon